Building ships in the Glasgow rain will soon become a thing of the past thanks to a gigantic building project on the Clyde. Bosses at the Bay Systems shipyard in Govan this week hailed the impact of a new shipbuilding hall which will be big enough to fit two new Type 26 frigates side by side. The new hall is being built on reclaimed land at the Govan yard and will stand 56 meters high, 180 meters long and 80 meters wide when finished. Last November, Bay Systems secured a £4.2 billion contract with the Ministry of Defence to build five more Type 26 ships. This builds on the initial contract for the first three vessels and provides confidence to invest in the long-term future of the Glasgow site. The Type 26 is one of the world's most advanced warships. It is designed for anti-submarine warfare and high-intensity air defense, but can adapt its role quickly to transport humanitarian aid and house medical facilities. Steel was cut on the fourth Type 26, HMS Birmingham, in April this year and work on the first three ships is already well underway. First of class HMS Glasgow is at Bay Systems Scotstoun shipyard having complex systems installed, HMS Cardiff is currently being assembled and HMS Belfast is in its early construction phase. All eight frigates will be built in Govan and Scotstoun with the work sustaining approximately 1,700 jobs in Scotland with a further 2,300 jobs across the wider UK supply chain. The ship build hall is being constructed by McLaughlin and Harvey. It will consist of more than 6,000 tons of steel and 20,000 cubic meters of concrete. Once complete, the hall will help enable efficient and safe shipbuilding for decades to come with future work unaffected by adverse weather. With two 100-ton cranes and a further two 20-ton cranes, the facility is designed to accommodate up to 500 workers per shift. The hall is a key element of the £300 million transformation of Bay Systems shipbuilding facilities in Glasgow. Once complete, this vast facility will be large enough for two Type 26 frigates to be constructed side by side. It will consist of more than 6,000 tons of steel and 20,000 cubic meters of concrete. Once complete, the hall will help enable efficient and safe shipbuilding for decades to come with future work unaffected by adverse weather. With two 100-ton cranes and two 20-ton cranes, the facility is designed to accommodate up to 500 workers per shift. The first steel arrived for the colossal structure in recent days with building work expected to be finished next year. When complete it will allow shipyard workers to assemble the next six frigates ordered by the Royal Navy under one roof. A new huge shipbuilding facility in Glasgow has been named after Pioneer, Second World War Shipyard Electrician. It was officially named the Janet Harvey Hall. In honor of the electrician, who at the age of 18 was just one of the women who took on industrial jobs when the country needed them most during the war. Once complete, the facility will be large enough for two Type 26 frigates to be constructed side by side and will be constructed of more than 6,000 tons of steel and 20,000 cubic meters of concrete. The hall is a key element of the £300 million modernization and digitalization of Bay Systems shipbuilding facilities at Govan and Scotstoun. Alongside a range of infrastructure and automation improvements, the company is introducing digital technology such as tablets and kiosk screens on the shop floor to streamline processes. Sir Simon Lister, head of BAE's Naval Ships Division, hailed the new shipbuilding hall as the largest investment at the historic Govan shipyard in 40 years. It is a substantial investment. We are building a class of ships but we are also rebuilding a shipyard that is fit for the future. The new hall is being built on reclaimed land at the Govan Yard and will stand 56 meters high, 180 meters long and 80 meters wide when finished. It will include two 100-ton cranes to lift materials in place and two 20-ton cranes operating at lower heights. Shipbuilding remains the largest manufacturing industry in Glasgow and Bay runs the largest apprentice scheme in Scotland. The firm still has job vacancies and has struggled to recruit experienced workers in recent years due to what Lister called the nationwide skills shortage. He said, in terms of skills, we still have vacancies in the yard. We are keen to fill those and rebuild the workforce both in skills and numbers. The new hall is being built on reclaimed land at the Govan Yard and will stand 56 meters high, 180 meters long and 80 meters wide when finished. The hall is currently still under construction at Bay Systems site in Govan and is a key element of the £300 million transformation of the firm's shipbuilding facilities. Jen Blee 
Business Operations Director of Bay Systems Naval Ships Business said. It's fitting that a pioneer such as Janet will remain synonymous with our efforts to reimagine complex shipbuilding on the Upper Clyde. She added. We owe so much to generations past and will use the wisdom they gave us to create our own legacy for generations to come. June Coughlett, Janet's niece, said that as a family they're delighted for her name to go on the ship build hall and called it a real honor. Janet would have been absolutely delighted, she said. June added. She was so very proud of the work she did during the war. She had great memories of her time working on the Clyde and felt that the work she did made a difference. Bay says that once complete, the hall will help enable efficient and safe shipbuilding for decades to come with future work unaffected by adverse weather. They add that with two 100-ton cranes and two 20-ton cranes, the facility is designed to accommodate up to 500 workers per shift. And it means HMS Cardiff, currently being assembled outdoors on the yard's heart standing will be the last ship to be built in Govan while exposed to the elements. A handful of journalists were given a behind-the-scenes tour of the vessel this week before she is floated out in the coming months for internal fitting at BAE's sister yard in Scotstoun. HMS Cardiff is the second batch 1 Type 26 frigate to be built for the United Kingdom's Royal Navy. The first steel was cut on 14 August 2019. The Type 26 class will partially replace the Navy's 13 Type 23 frigates, and will be a multi-mission warship designed for anti-submarine warfare, air defense and general purpose operations. The frigate is currently being constructed at the Bay Systems Shipyard in Govan. Glasgow along with her sister ships HMS Glasgow and Belfast and will be the second to enter production as part of the £3.7 billion contract for the three ships, announced by the MOD in 2017. A new huge shipbuilding facility in Glasgow has been named after a pioneer Second World War shipyard electrician. It was officially named the Janet Harvey Hall. Janet Harvey and just a handful of women worked alongside a 100,000-strong male workforce at the River Clyde shipyards in a crucial role in the UK's war effort. At the age of 96, Janet was awarded an honorary degree as a Doctor of Engineering from Glasgow Caledonian University in recognition of her outstanding contribution to Glasgow's shipyards during the war. She died on the 11th of November last year at the age of 101. Naming the hall after Janet not only honors her contribution, but also the efforts of all the women who stepped up and became electricians, welders, engineers and platers when the call came.